Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing my plan with me for my happy planner for the week of April 11th through the 17th. And I'll give you one guess what the themes this week is going to be. Strawberry! <laughs> Strawberry is probably one of my all-time favorite fruit. And I do want to go ahead and check. This is my planning my planner calendar. And I do want to check just to make sure that I have everything. So what I do in this, if you haven't seen this video, you can check it out. But I'll give you a quick run through. What I do is I do check just to make sure I have all of the stickers that I wanted. Um, so I have the journal cards I was looking for, my puffy stickers, the cutouts, um, washi. I don't have the washi. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed the washi that I needed. I'm going to use this red out of here. I'm also probably going to use this leaf paper, leaf pattern and this really thin washi that I actually used just last week too in my bee theme. So I'm going to see how I'll use that this week. And then I got my cute little stickers that I got from Megan W. Wanted to make sure I included those in this planner. All right, so perfect. So I've got everything. So I'm going to put that back and I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and start the process. And um, we're going to see how it turns out. Thanks. for. I'm going to start, as I usually do, by cutting up the paper. What I'm using here is a stationery kit that I got at Daiso. And the stationery kit came with that pink paper and then the white paper that's sitting there on the calendar is the envelopes that came in the um, paper pack. And I went ahead and cut up all those papers and then I am also going to be using some journaling cards and um, there you can see the envelope. And of course lots of stickers. The washi, I ended up only using the leaf washi. I didn't use the red or the brown washi. Um, I just used the green. So did not too much washi this time. Okay, so I'm going to cut up that paper and then I'm also going to be cutting up the scalloped edge at the top of the envelope because I am going to be using that to cover up my numbers at the top. And I do have to double back that because it is just stationary paper so it's kind of light and it did show through so I just put two layers of paper and then it worked fine and once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and put the papers kind of in order just to see what other papers I'm gonna need to use and when I, once I actually get this all situated and down, I am going to cut another journaling card because um, I didn't want to use too much more of this paper. And come on, make up your mind. Nope, still not. Nope. Yeah, put it there. Okay, there you go. Nope. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut up that cardstock. It's got some strawberries and um, at the top, which is really cute. And I liked it because it brought in some greens colors and then I was going to use that journaling card so I cut the cut it so it fit the two boxes but then I just decided to just use the circle only and then I'm going to move it around again here we go moving around all right so then I'm going to also use that journaling card and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the today part so it fits in one of the boxes and then I'm going to cut the bottom so it fits in one of the boxes and then I fussy cut it that little image out of the journaling card and I'm going to stick that in the Wednesday column kind of at the bottom corner and um, gives it a nice little look and I like it that particular corner piece matches the other journaling card that's in the weekend so it kind of ties the whole thing together and I had a little bit of issue with the white paper and then the other paper is kind of like an off-white. But I basically just had to get over it because I wanted to use that paper. 
Um, okay, so I cut out that sweet. I don't use it there. I actually ended up using it in a journaling card. I cut up that little strawberry. It says delectable day, but I didn't end up using it yet. I'll probably put it on a day sometime within the week, but I didn't end up using it there. Okay, so I, tri I had to trim that down a little bit because I felt like it was going into Tuesday a little bit too much. All right, so I wanted to use that um, paper as well, but as before, it was a little bit see-through when I put it on there. I could still see the calendar and stuff, so I just folded it over and then glued it on itself, and then it worked fine. Um, I'm gonna put the washi down, but before I do that, I'm just gonna put some of my white little labels down to cover up the quote at the bottom. And um, with the magic of editing, I glued all of the boxes down and then started putting the washi on. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to put the pieces at the top. So I took this green ink and I am gonna stamp the days of the week across the top of the page. And I have a great appreciation for people that can stamp really well. I'm trying to learn the art, but I just, for some reason, I just can't do it very good. I mean, it turned out fine. I'll live with it, but it kind of smeared in a couple spots and it kind of didn't go all the way through in a couple spots, <laughs> but that's okay. You know, um, I got to just keep continuing to, to stamp, stamp stuff. And then that's kind of my goal is to at least use one stamp in each layout just to kind of help with my, um, stamping ability. All right. So what I, like I said before, I went ahead and just put the days of the week all the way across. And I believe this stamp set is um, from Heidi Swap, I think. And I'm so bad at that, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I got it at Tuesday morning. So it's probably not available anymore anyway. And um, once I get these down, I am going to go to our my favorite time of the Plan With Me's, which is... Sticker time! So what I'm going to do next is I am going to take those little charms that I guess charms I don't know what they're what they're supposed to be used for, but I've got them at Michael's in the dollar fifty bin, and I did use my fifty percent off coupon for them. <laughs> so I um, wanted to make a paper clip. It's kind of something I've been doing with my layouts each week is making a paper clip. That's the theme of that layout. And um, I'm really liking how it's looking in, in, my lay, in my planner. So I did it again this week. So I just took that. I didn't like the brown string that came on the, on the little charm. So I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. So I added some 
red and white thread that I got also at Michael's. And um, if you had seen my Michael's sale haul, I got it for 15 cents, um, that whole packet. And my haul videos will be listed, my playlist will be listed in the bottom if you want to check it out. Okay, so I just plugged in my hot glue gun and glued that on there and let that set for a minute. And then I'm going to grab some felt here. I've got some like slate gray felt and um, just outlined the pattern of the, um, the design. Probably should have done that prior to me putting it on the paper clip, but you know, sometimes you don't think ahead. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm going to do is I cut that out and kind of make sure it fits. And I was going to do the spout as well, but you'll see here I just cut that spout off. I'm like, ah, that's not going to work. So I just cut it off and it looks fine. And then I went ahead and glued the, just added a little glue dot to the ribbon because I didn't want that to fall off. So um, you can see there, I'm trying to glue it on there. And then I'm going to glue that felt to the back of the magnet to just kind of give it a finished look. So like I said, I've been doing this with my planner layouts and I'm really liking having a theme clip, paper clip with my layouts. So it's just kind of something, one more thing to add to my layout. All right, so I decided I was going to put my scripture for the week on my journal card and I wanted to fill in that space that had the this that was a project life card that had some title lines on it or journaling card lines on it and so I wanted to fill that space and I am not a good handwriter I don't handwrite good so I took that sticker and I basically just cut it up to fit in that area it's a clear sticker so um, you can tell that it's a sticker when it's stuck on there but I like it fine it turned out fine and my um, scripture for the 34 verse 8 so it's chapter 34 verse 8 and um, it talks it says oh taste that's the first um, line in the scripture so I thought that was cute that it said oh taste and it kind of goes with strawberries so and plus the, the scripture itself is very beautiful all right, so I'm going to go ahead and punch that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put cover up the back of the journaling card with that paper. And again, it's just stationary paper, really thin. So I just doubled it up, put glued um, two pieces together. And then I'm going to trace it out and cut up that part so that I can glue it to the back of the journal card. And um, one thing I do recommend doing when you're, if you do do a journal card and you do want to cover the back, just really make sure that you glue where the hole punches are really well because you're going to be, if you're, if you, when you're moving it around or if you're taking it off, in and off and on like I do, because I obviously, I don't journal in my um, happy planner, I take it out and then I journal and put it back in. So just make sure you put a lot of glue. You can see I'm really pressing down on the glue right there just to make sure that it's really glued um, around the um, hole punched area. I'm just trimming it up and make, yeah, there we go. Make sure it's glued down. And then um, at this point, I think I'm pretty much done, guys. What I'm going to do now, oh, no, never mind, just kidding. I wanted to use that other Project Life card, and it's one of the ones that fold in the middle. And um, that strawberry, actually I stole that from my sister's stash. So thanks, sis. Um, I didn't really steal it. She knew I was taking it. But um, I wanted to make a little tuck spot for because um, I wanted to use that little journal. I thought that little card was cute. And sometimes it's nice to have little hidden journaling in your planner so um, I went ahead and made that a little tuck spot by putting some tape just down at the bottom and then kind of on the side so it doesn't adhere all the way so you can see it comes right off and sticks right back in and then the paper clip kind of helps it secure it in there all right now I'm actually done <laughs> gonna put it in my planner at this point and um, 
did a little freeze frame there at my little note that said I have 500 subscribers, which I'm so super, super excited about. I hit 500 as of today, actually, which is Saturday. And that's the layout, guys. I am really excited about it. I think it looks really great. Um, I'm going to put in my DIY magnet dashboard that I just made that I'm totally in love with. And I'm going to actually include a little to-do list on the back of that magnet sheet here. You'll see in a second. I grab um, the Target Dollar Spot three-hole punch. Um, it came in the paper. It came in like the pack with the with that pet list pad and the stickers and like a note, a sticky note dashboard. And it's like the perfect size. Once you tear it from that um, paper or from the three hole punch, it's the, the perfect size to fit in there. So I was excited because it's perfect because it's black and white and it's lined paper and I'm going to use up that. I already know I'm going to use up that paper pad really quickly. All right. And then I'm going to get my don't forget magnet and my remember and kind of stick that on there. And and then I'm done, guys. So thank you so much for joining me on this trip. And here's some pictures for you. Thanks.